Hey, good morning, YouTube. Indiana Smith here. I am set up at the annual Ladonia Fossil Day celebration. We're right here at the Fossil Park. I'm going to walk you through it in a minute so you can see some of the amazing displays that are here. Hope you enjoy. I'm so excited! <laughs> Fossil Day is in full swing now. The wind's picking up. I hope it'll not get up too bad because I don't want stuff blowing everywhere. And watch, there it goes. I'm going to have to put a vertebrae on those pictures to weigh them down. Well, anyway, I will take the measure of some of the other tables here in just a minute. Let me fix mine. Some of Sherry Morris's collection, Sherry and David. Nice ammonite. <laughs> Beautiful little skull cast, several large vertebrae. These guys have found some cool stuff. Lovely arrowhead collection there. Some toe bones. Just lots of cool stuff. Here. I've seen So many cool displays here. All right, so this is the collection of my friend Jim Pepsil. This is an extremely rare specimen here. This is Globidens mosasaur. Now this is a cast of the actual bones, but this was found here in the river by my friend Gary Wallace. And you can see what makes Globidens unique is those round teeth. He was a skull crusher. Then there's an almost complete paddle, some large mosasaur teeth. And then this is one of our smaller mosasaurs, the platycarpus. And in between is a vertebrae from a huge Tylosaurus, the largest species of Mosasaur, nearly eight inches across. Look at the size of that sucker. Isn't that incredible? How long have you been doing this, Jim? 20 years. Nice. I, reti I retired. My first retirement was 1999. Nice. And, and a friend of mine named Lewis Smith, he took me to the North Sulphur River. I was looking for arrowheads, found fossils, and instead of an arrowhead guy, I turned into a fossil guy who also finds arrowheads. There we go. Thank you, Lewis. Nice. I had no idea we would have this kind of turnout today. It is just all kinds of people. The parking lot's full, people coming in all the time. This is just really an amazing event. Here's some of the vertebrae Jim is working on. He is really good at restoring all the detail on them. And I know they're kind of hard to see because the sun is still in the wrong part of the sky. But you know, all we usually find are the center core of the vertebrae. You hardly ever find them with the arches and side fins on them. So those are just really neat. One other cool thing about today is we have a total eclipse of the sun. And so I don't want to burn out my camera. So I'm going to try and put, yeah, even now you can't, it's almost too bright that you can see it's just starting. Man, I never can get it to look in my camera the way it looks to my eyes. Right now it's like a crescent moon. And I guess just because it's so bright, even through the eclipse glasses in my camera, it just looks like a blob, big blob of yellow thing. Well, even through the photo filter, it's still kind of blurry, but you can see there's a bigger disc being taken out of it now. It's going to be uh, going to be impressive here in another half hour or so. Okay, I think I've got the trip to this right. Ah, it's not wanting to. There you go. You kind of get close to what I'm seeing. It's just hard to get it clear in this camera. But yeah, it is just almost totality right now. Look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had it for just a second there, and then it went out of focus. So cool. Film a little bit more of people's tables. I was mistaken. We're not getting the total eclipse this year. That's coming next year. We got 80% today. Look at this Zyphactinus skull. That is just amazing. So many cool finds. Here we have the trifecta of North Sulphur Mosasaurs. There's my Clydastes, which Jim is going to give a makeover for me. Here's a platycarpus, yeah, and then of course are, the globidens. Hey, what a great day. It has been a lot of fun, but I am packing it in. Still love this guy.